I think a lot of people are not willing to get their feelings hurt. And I think a lot of people like to live in echo chambers. And I think this kind of goes back to the point that I was making before about people, it, it, you are almost are afraid of making a mistake. Yeah. You're afraid of, you're afraid that if you make a mistake, you're going to be othered immediately, mm -hmm. right? And I think that this is such a horrible climate and environment to live in because if people are not given the grace to make mistakes and i mean yeah. honest candid mistakes not yeah. just oh i know better like i'm yeah, pretending yeah. i don't know and then i'm just gonna say whatever yeah. i want because no i mean like honest candid mistakes and actually learn from them and grow how can we ever get yeah. from where we are now to where we ultimately want to be which is a yeah. more equitable society mm. I, I just don't understand how that yeah. happened i mean it's like it's like so if scared. you want to be a comedian you have to bomb some jokes like you yeah. have to write 10 jokes, you, hopefully two or three of them work, hopefully four or five you can actually fix and two or three of them are just gonna go nowhere. Exactly. And so like if you're gonna have a conversation, you know, you sh it's almost like as a comedian, if you're not bombing jokes, you're not going anywhere near far enough. Exactly. And so it's, um, I almost wish people would approach the cultural dialogue with that with that mentality. I agree. And I think that's actually what social media for all that sometimes people say, oh, they spent 17 seconds on this video. This is an art. This mm -hmm, is it. Mm -hmm. No, what it is, is people actually being able to share their real experiences exactly. and saying, and I actually like what you said about being willing to put it out there and just say, this is what happened to me. Yeah. Um, even better if it's a story about you on a date, apparently. <laughs> Question. Always I, got, I had I had a date once here in China with a, with a girl who told me that if she married somebody else from Fujian, that they would give her a dowry of 500,000 renminbi. Okay. And uh, what would I be willing to give? I'm like, this is the first date. <laughs> like that's, like I'll give you 500,000 kwai to leave this table right now. <laughs> like, have you, have you run in any dowry questions? Oh gosh, well, I mean, I've had, I, I, I don't think I've gotten to that, to that level of like pecuniary involvement, thankfully for, for my sake, but um, I've, I've had some I've had some weird questions definitely in the past. I've had people ask me very strange, strange questions, <laughs> like, very strange questions about like, I don't know. I think there's definitely there is a how should I put this? There is an assumption of the type of person. OK, I should I should first say that. Being black in the world, you are automatically, there is a label that is put on you. Mm. I think irrespective of which culture you are in, whether you're in Europe, Latin America, yeah. Asia, North America, wherever you may be, yeah. there is a label that is ten, that tends to be put on you. Um, and the label, I think, does change depending on the geography that you're in. And I think that in China, there is a, I would say there is a, a, a school of thought in China that I would say views black people as being very aggressive mm. and views black people as being very, uh, very, no, let's use yeah. some adjectives because you said American yeah. people like adjectives, strong yeah. and aggressive and very uh, hyper-masculine, whatever your definition of hyper-masculine may be, and very kind of, and also being funny, yeah. I think that that, you know, um, that and so i think that a lot of the dates that i've gone on in china i think a lot of people have gone into those dates with those preconceived ideas yeah. of who i should be mm. and i think one of the difficult things of living here has been trying to have my own identity outside of what other people's preconceived yeah. ideas of me it's are. hard it's hard to live abroad and not get sucked into this sound because everybody tells you even or like foreigners are like this which is a big mm. label but you know, they say foreigners are like this, foreigners are like that. You know, why? We're in Hawaii. Mm, mm, they say mm, all the mm, foreigners mm, are very mm, um, outgoing. Extroverted. Extroverted. And um, and it's like, as you said, you almost need to show people three, four, five, six times you don't fit that thing yeah. before they will mentally change their point. Okay, so maybe all the foreigners are extroverted, except for that one. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Which is not really a win. The amount of like, times I've <laughs> the amount of expression, the amount of times I've heard the expression, that bush is soil here and though in guy. Yeah. And fill in the yeah, blank yeah. with whatever you would like to fill in yeah. the blank with. Like, but aren't all black people X? And yeah. then just fill in whatever you want to fill in. Or aren't all American people X? Yeah, yeah. Um, the amount of times I've had to deal with that, both in friendly, yeah. like just friend settings, and also in romantic settings has been, oh my yeah. gosh, if I had a dime for every yeah. time I've heard that, I'm I'd sure. be Jeff Bezos. Well, it's the same thing, I mean, I'm, I'm Jewish, so they're, oh, you'll hire a Hantoni. They're always mm -hmm. like, oh, the Jews mm -hmm. are smart, yeah. and, um, you know, mm -hmm. like, they mm -hmm. all do good business, yeah. and, and so sometimes these things, like, I do run a business, mm -hmm. and, like, you know, I do have a good education. Like, so, oh, 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 I knew it. <laughs> I'm like, should I be dumb? Mm -hmm. Like, should I lose lots of money yeah. now just to not be yeah. stereotyped? But, um, but it's, uh, it is, 
it is definitely something you need to take into account when you're on a date. I think, um, yeah. I think, it, obviously, you know, going, uh, the fact that I'm tall, right? Yeah. The fact that, you know, I... I maybe have a certain build and people are like, oh, you must play basketball. You must be yeah, so good yeah. at sports. You must be so good exactly. at this. And do you know how to rap? And yeah. oh, can I, I'll yeah, bring this yeah. up because this yeah. is quite funny. Yeah. I think that this, I think this was, I thought it was quite cute actually yeah. because the, the, the company that I currently work at, when I first joined, there was a coworker there and he likes rap so much. Mm-hmm. And the first thing that he did when he met me was like, mm-hmm. let me show you my rap. Oh, and I was like, like, I got, I got beats. Like I got, the funniest yeah, thing yeah. is that I barely listen to yeah, rap. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know if I'm necessarily the arbiter to say yeah. that if this is good or bad rap, but good job. Yeah. <laughs> good job. I think the fact that you use the word arbiter says that you maybe are not the right person <laughs> to decide whether this is right. But but this is the thing is it's like but people but it's like you don't get anywhere by saying like you know by shutting down good energy. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like a lot of times, or the the classic example, people are really happy you speak Chinese. Yeah. Like even though it gets tiring to have to yeah. say every time, oh yep yep, mm-hmm. I live here a couple of years. Yep yep yep, I speak Chinese. But like you don't get anywhere by being mean about exactly. that. Exactly, you know? I'm always friendly about it. Always, yeah. like I've I've heard the oh, you stay in China for how long? How long have you been yeah, in China? Yeah. Then oh, four years. Oh, wow. oh I've God. heard that so many times. But you know, I'm always so gracious about it. And I'm like I'm, you know, because obviously Chinese is a very difficult language. Yeah. I'm thankful that people are happy that I learned their language, yeah. right? Because this was my ultimate goal when I was yeah. in middle school and high school. My goal was always like yeah. one day I want to be able to speak Chinese yeah. to Chinese people and engage with them yeah. in their language because I think that. Because I was raised around Chinese people, I always wanted to learn more about them. And when you speak to someone in a foreign language, you can only speak to their mind, but you can't speak to their soul.、Mm. When you speak to someone in their language, you're speaking、yeah. to their soul, and I think that's a much more engaging and much more enriching experience. And that's one of the reasons why I feel like people should be more comfortable with making those mistakes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's like, yes, you've made a mistake on the detail. But when you try to understand another culture, you've made a very correct move on the big thing, and that's one of the things. Even in this, you know, challenging times of trying to do comedy in China and the scripts and the blah blah blah, and there's tension, just by showing up and being like, "I'm on stage and I'm doing the show for you today. I tried to make you、mm. happy. You could say you don't like the jokes,、mm. but I did show up today.、Exactly. I could have been anywhere tonight,、yeah. and I was here at the club、exactly. trying to make you happy. I think that people respect that."